This week in social studies, we have been discussing what makes our community so special. And today we're going to focus on music and our community. You know, a lot of people in our community play the banjo. And the banjo has roots that stretch all the way to West Africa from a long time ago. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of the banjo. And we're excited because we have two dads that are going to be playing the banjo for us today. First, this is Carson Powers' dad. And I'm just going to let it play. <laughs> Wasn't that just wonderful? The next example is from Adeline Ramey's dad, and he's going to be playing the claw hammer banjo, and he's going to be playing Angelina Baker. So we would like to thank you bo both of these men for sharing um, these clips of them playing the banjo. That was just wonderful. Um, you can hear the banjo played a lot at festivals like the Apple Festival or Front Porch Pickin that we have every week on Thursdays at the Country Music Highway Museum. And um, a lot of people just love to hear the banjo played around here. The next thing we're going to talk about is Chris Stapleton. Everyone knows Chris Stapleton. He's very famous, and he's from right here in Johnson County. I'm going to show you a clip of when he returned back to Johnson County to play a show. Oh, To be here in the hometown, uh, this is not always the easiest place to travel to for people. So for the amount of all the crew and everybody here that came to, to make all this happen, uh, it's, it's a really big deal, not just for me, but all the people in the town. And uh, it was a really exciting time for them uh, to have these shows. It's an honor for him to come back. You know, he's, he's really busy. I mean, you know, he's got, he's got a tour coming up. And it's just great that he made time to come down here and play for us. Well, it speaks volumes for him and who that he is and that he's so willing to come back here and do a free concert. Chris was in my first homeroom 26 years ago, seventh, seventh grade. Very gifted, very gifted, even as a little boy. He was the valedictorian of the class of 96. He was also an athlete here. And now he is a two-time Grammy award-winning artist. Mr. Chris Stapleton, give it up. Chris is a man of not so many words, but you can tell on his face and you can tell on Morgan's face how much this means to them to come home and, and see everyone and meet the people that really made Chris the person he is today. It's pretty special. I come from a family of a lot of hard workers. Uh, my dad was a coal miner and he would get up at 4.30 in the morning and then he'd come home about eight o'clock at night. My grandfather was the same way. He had a 10th grade education and wound up head of engineering for a multinational coal corporation. He was a hard worker. And I learned that from those guys. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't know any other way. Chris Stapleton's story of perseverance and hard work and dedication to take him from a community like Paintsville and bring him to 
you know, winning Grammys and winning Academy Country Music Awards is, is something that we're very proud to be a part of. The road's been long. I don't know how hard it's been. I've always had fun. I've done it for a living for a long time and, and in different ways as a songwriter. And I've never looked at it as hard. Maybe the hours were long sometimes, but uh, you know, I've always you know, been grateful just to get to play music for a living. So as you can tell, music plays a huge role in our community and music makes our community special. After watching this video, I want you to go and read, um, listen to the reading of When I Was Young in the Mountains, and then you can go click on the Google form to complete the questions. Have a great day.